Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to remove gel polish at home. These are my daughter's hands and she's actually here with me helping me um, do the voiceover. Hello! So what we're going to do is pretty simple. As you see here, she has some growth. I think it's been about two weeks since I last did this um, gel polish set on her. As you see, the first step is to go in with my sanding man. I have the speed of the nail drill at 4,000 RPMs. It's pretty low and that's because since this is her natural nail, we do not want to cause any heat spikes or anything. So I could have just finished right there. All I'm doing is removing the shine off of the nail and then I could, you just go straight to the other one. I'm trying to remove as much nail polish as, as I could, but really all we have to do is remove that first layer of shine. As you see, I don't always touch the natural nail. You can if you want to clean up the cuticle area, like if you're going to do a new set of gel polish nails. I'm not going to do a new set for her today, maybe tomorrow. Um, so what I'm going to do is just remove everything. I did apply some butterfly decals on her. So I'm going to remove that and I'll let you guys watch and then I'll be back with the next step. You're going to repeat those steps with both hands and the next step is to apply this product. This product is one that I bought off of Amazon. This is a nail polish remover as you see. It's a pretty big container so it's going to last you quite a while. I believe the um, brand name is Aliver. I might be pronouncing it wrong but as you see there that was the name of it. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be applying a pretty consistent um, layer on the nails. It's going to be thick. As you see, it, it looks kind of thick. And this is going to help peel off that gel polish. You're going to see later on how well it actually works. So one tip that I can give you is she did mention that when I applied it on her natural nail, it did sting her a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, so um, just a tip. Make sure you just apply it on the gel polish. I don't know if it's because she's young and her skin is a little bit more sensitive. Um, but still, even if it's on yourself or if you have clients, try to avoid touching any skin. So as you're seeing here, I'm applying a generous amount. I don't know if you have to apply such a generous amount. I want it to because I want the product to be removed within those 10 minutes that it says on the um, when you buy it. Yeah, it says it on the box. So um, we're going to be repeating this on both hands, as you can see here. I was expecting this to be more of a liquid when I bought it. I didn't think that I was it was going to be this thick. I actually thought there was something wrong with it. Um, but... That's just the way it is? It, yeah, it's just the way that the manufacturer makes it, so... I mean, it is what it is. It kind of looks like gel. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Like, kind of like jelly. Okay. 
Okay, so I applied it and look at this. It's only been on for about a minute and look at how it's lifting from the fingernail. That was quick. Very, very quick. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna let her hand, rest her hands for 10 minutes and that's what they recommend. So we're gonna put your timer for 10 minutes and you're gonna come back and this is how they look. Are we gonna peel it now? We are, we're gonna peel it. What you're gonna need is a um, cuticle pusher and you're just gonna peel that away. Look at how easy that gel polish comes it's off. Quick. Honestly, it's you have to put no work into it, no effort. You're just peeling it away. It's like going down a hill. Mm-hmm. It doesn't take any effort really to take it off. We're just gonna peel it off. Um, it didn't hurt her at all. And you're just gonna remove it. And this avoids you having to dip the hands in acetone and having to either dip or wrap them in cotton or um, aluminum. So. That's what you're gonna do with all the all the fingernails. Um, clean the bottom if you guys want. I'm gonna clean her nails a little bit because later on I'm gonna be filing them and just making them pretty. And again, just peel it. Look how easy that peels off. I definitely recommend this product. I got it off of Amazon. I bought three for a for ten dollars. Um, so I think that's a very good deal, and it does the job that it says so highly recommend it i did find other ones on amazon they were a little bit more expensive than this one uh, i do want to buy another one just to check it out to see how it compares to this but honestly for the price very good three of those for ten dollars it's gonna last me a while and as you see it just peels everything right off so once i'm happy with the product removal, I'm gonna go ahead and give her nails shape. Uh, my daughter's nine years old, so she does play outside, and you know, sometimes nails get a little- um, Messed up. Yeah, messed up and out of shape. So that's super easy. We are gonna go ahead and shape them up. I'm gonna give her an, a nice round um, look. That way it's not uncomfortable for her and it's as natural as possible. That way she can do what kids do and play and all that good stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and softly shape her nails. This file that I'm using is... And after that, I'm going to be using this buffer that I bought. I believe I bought this buffer in Dollar Tree or Family Dollar. I used to use these a lot when I was a teenager, and I really enjoyed it. Um, I grew up in a household where I couldn't wear nail polish so this is what this was my hack so that I could have nice and shiny nails um, and so this has four steps and we what are, are gonna steps? well the first one that I'm using right now is file After the first step, you're gonna, it's repetitive, you're gonna go on to the next step. Which is buff? Which is buff, yes. So buff those nails out. The third step is polish, polish yep. And then shine. I'm gonna speed this up a little bit so that you guys can see a little quicker. I don't wanna make this too long. Okay. 
Last step, we're gonna shine these babies up. Um, you're gonna see the end result. It honestly looks amazing. Her hands look, her nails look so healthy. Like if, like if there's no damage. And again, she's Come nine, on. so I don't wanna damage her nails. And if you have clients, you don't wanna dan damage their nails or their fingers either. So that last step is to shine. Then I am going to go ahead and apply a little bit of cuticle oil. Just massage that right in there. I do cover the nail as well with the cuticle oil um, to give it a little bit of extra shine and a little bit of extra care. And ladies, this is the result. We're all done. The, yes, they look, um, look how healthy those look. I definitely recommend the product. So, all right, let me know how you like the video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.